Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be looking at five jailbreak tweaks that are in iOS 7 or closely related. First one I want to share is called Auto App Updater. This is a paid tweak and I'm thinking somewhere around $199. Uh, I'll have all the uh, prices and everything in the description below for you. But anyway, Auto App Updater does just exactly what you would think it would do. Uh, it automatically updates your applications in the background. You don't have to go in here and open up the App Store physically and touch each update or tap update all. Uh, for instance, I have a few of these such as Subway Surfers and um, Temple Run 2. I don't want those updated because I have those hacked. So I can turn that off in here simply by going to app settings and just flipping the little toggle here you see i've got banana kong turned off and i've got some more down through here like joe danger and real racing 3 thirst temple run 2 and uh, world war z all those are turned off so they won't update because it'll it will affect my hack that i have installed on it so it is an awesome way to keep your apps updated with the option to set each app individually now i don't think that is a option in ios 7 although you know there's been a big controversy among the uh community in ios whether to have auto app updater or not some like it some don't if they would put in the individual apps i think it would be an awesome thing however if you have to go gung-ho for every app updated or none then I say just turn it off you know you you will be able to turn it off in iOS 7 based on how they've already shown it next is a card called card twitcher and it's a paid app as well and what it does is it is a multitask and let's see if I don't have a screenshot of it in here somewhere there it is it's 199 in big boss repo and it's by Kyle Howes and um, card switcher looks a whole lot like iOS 7 multitask okay and you can see right here it's got the big cards and you can see each individual page for a screenshot of whatever you may be looking at and if you want to close any of these however you can just simply flip up or uh, I actually I think you pull down on them and they fly out pretty awesome little app or tweak whatever you want to call it and up next is lock bar settings light now this is a lock screen tweak and I did a full review on this if you want to check it out we're not going to go into great detail about it however here is what your lock screen looks like you simply have your uh, slider is gone they have themed it out and you can pull up from the bottom and you get a like a semi control center I guess something that's in iOS 7 which iOS 7 has a many many more options but this is a small version of what it would you know be like in iOS 7 and I thought it would be something you guys would want to look at next is called blurred NC background and you can see when I pull down right there if you look through the background it's blurred out okay that's in NC blurred back or blurred NC background. So let's go back out here and go to blurred NC background. And right here you can see I can increase or decrease the amount of blur if you want to call it that. They call it Gaussian radius. Now when I pull down you see you can simply look completely through the background. However, if I slide it all the way over here, it blurs it completely out. I like it sort of set somewhere in the middle right there. And you can change the tint color to whatever you want it to be. If you wanted it to be cayenne, now when you pull down, you got that real bright looking cayenne color. There's magenta, purple, um, any of these you would want to use is there. Light gray is not that bad. Uh, anyway, that's called blurry NC background. And I think it might be free, but I'm not real sure. Um, an oldie but goldie SB settings you will have something similar to this in iOS 7 but you know 
Uh, there's just so many different toggles in iOS 7. I thought I would just show you what that looked like, and I would say that's where this has come from. They have gotten their idea from the jailbreak tweak SB settings. Last but not least, one I want to share is called iOS 7 Control Toggles Icon. And this is actually a winter board theme for, N for NC settings, which NC settings is a jailbreak tweak that adds some more toggles right up here at the top. You see, you got all these different toggles you can simply swipe through and you can change them, reorder them, however you want to do that. But if we go back into our settings here, and we'll go to iOS. Let's go to NC settings. All right, right here at the theme, you see I've got it set to default. So when I pull down, you see these toggles up here look pretty common like, you know, they normally would. All right, if I flip it over to iOS 7 control toggles, which is the theme that we're talking about. Now when I pull it down, watch them flip over to the iOS 7 look. They got the little round version now for the iOS 7 look. So that's some pretty awesome jailbreak tweaks that have been added in iOS 7. And if you're running an iOS 6 device and you want to get an iOS 7 feel, there's at least five or six tweaks that will get you on your way. And please don't forget, guys, to hit that subscribe button and keep coming back.